Hey guys, welcome back to the vlog channel. So I just got done filming and I put my new set of trays in this week. So I'm going to be talking a little funny probably for the first couple days until my mouth gets adjusted to these. But I already had these off for like almost two hours while I was filming. So I had to pop them back in. So I'm sorry if the lisp is a little distracting. I honestly, I've been struggling so much with these trays and keeping them in for like the set time. Like I've definitely been going over two hours. It's so hard with filming and like obviously like I have to eat throughout the day. And that takes time so I'm trying my best but it's definitely a struggle anyways that is not what this video is about today we are decorating the house for fall and I'm so excited it is my favorite time of year Hector put out all this stuff yesterday and it's on the basement so I'm gonna put it up and start decorating I don't really think I'm gonna buy anything new this year because I got a lot of good stuff last year and I loved the way everything looked so I'm gonna put everything together and then I'll see if I like need a couple of things but I feel like I'm pretty good with decor this year so Let's go decorate. So it is, by the way, the third week with my trays in. I just put this new set in two days ago. So um, I feel like they're a little bit like tight and big for my mouth right now. That's why I'm talking so funny. Hi, Bernard. Hi, my love. You're gonna help me decorate? Let's go get the stuff. So here we have all of the fall decor or Halloween decor actually. It's more like spooky stuff. Some of the stuff is for outside like this is going to go outside and I got most of this stuff from like Marshalls like places like that last year. TJ Maxx um, or not Marshalls, Michaels actually. Michaels had a really good Halloween selection last year so that's where a lot of this stuff is from. I'm going to put this out front. I have all our blankets here. Lots of pillows in here as well. Okay so these are actually I guess I can start down here. Okay so I'm going to start down here in our basement aka our like formal family room area <laughs> and it's also Hector's man cave so I'm gonna put these pillows down here We have more stuff here, you guys. Oh, I definitely went a little crazy last year because it was our first year in our house and I got a lot of stuff. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna need anything else this year, honestly. There's so many cute things in here. Okay, this definitely goes down here. I'm gonna put that right here. Put that little candle. I'll put it here for now. It's just a Bath and Body Works candle. Which one is this? Pumpkin Spice. This little guy is adorable. So I put this on Hector's desk right here. So cute with like the headphones. I love it. Also got this here. I believe I believe I put this here last year. Honestly, I don't really remember, but this is really cute. I also got that from Michaels. Okay, just when I thought I had enough, you guys, I went crazy last year with all of the decor. This is a lot of stuff. Okay, I'm like trying to remember where I put everything last year, but wow, I have a lot of like skeletons here. I didn't realize I had so many. I think a lot of the stuff also went upstairs too. I'm gonna have to watch my vlog from last year, honestly, to see how I put everything, but oh, this is cool. I remember this goes over here. I'm gonna put that here and we can put this book down here. This by the way is from Target. We got that a few years back. All right, so this is what it looks like down here. I'm not crazy about it, but I'm not gonna change anything because honestly, when we all lay down here, we move all the pillows and it doesn't really matter. So yeah, that is that. And then here I have this mushroom blanket over, this is Hector's by the way, but I have this over these two pillows that don't match down here. So these pillows are so soft and comfortable. They're from Walmart. We need to find like some beige ones to match down here and put these upstairs, but they're so soft, you guys. I wish you could touch them, but we have two of them here. So I just covered them up with this blanket because they don't really match, but that is essentially the vibe and what everything looks like and then i just added that right there those cute little books i have this right here a little candle and then i just added these two things right down here oh we're finished let's go do the upstairs now literally watching my video from last year to see how I decorated everything because I'm pretty much going to do like the same exact thing this year because I really liked it last year. I cannot believe how much stuff I bought last year you guys. It's like crazy. I'm definitely stocked like for life. I'm missing a little bowl like a candy bowl which is this little bowl from last year. I don't know where it's at. I thought I just saw it but I don't know. Maybe it's downstairs but 
I'm gonna put this bowl over here where we have our wine cart. I got these cute little napkins last year, perfect for the wine cart. I just put them right in there. All right, I found the little candy bowl. We gotta get some candy. We secretly bought some a few days ago and we ate it all. Okay, candy's gonna go in there. Don't really want these two candles here because I feel like it's kind of a bit much, but I'll leave them there for now. But that's pretty much it for the dining room. I really like it. I like the black and white. I know it's a lot. It's not for everybody, but I think it's cute. So wine cart now. So I put that little thing there. I'm going to swap this side now. I have a different one somewhere here. <laughs> okay, so I'll put this back in here. Here we go. More booze, please. I got this from... I think TJ Maxx or Home Goods last year. So, okay, I put that little guy over there because I don't really know if I want to put him in the same spot that I had him last year. I might honestly just put him outside. We'll see. He's not going to stay there, but okay. So I added this pillow here, which is cute. This is also from Michael's. Now we have some more pumpkins, lots of pumpkins. This one is definitely going to go right here. Here is this little corner. I got this mirror, I think from Ross. I'm pretty sure. Yep. Ross, $10 last year, I love it. And then this is also from Michael's. And then this candle I got from Five Below. And then I have my salt light over there. And I think I got that from TJ Maxx. This plant, by the way, is fake. It's from Amazon. Okay, so we have some blankets. So one of these is gonna be on Bernard's bed and then the other one's gonna be on the couch. I just added this throw blanket here. I got this made locally, actually. I will link it down below. She like hand makes these blankets and they're like really soft and nice quality. We have a couple little extra pumpkins. So we're gonna do the kitchen and then the half bath. Let's do the half bath first actually because I already know these go in there. It's time to do the outside. Ready? All right. And I'm gonna put this guy outside because I don't want him here. <laughs> Bernard's not really scared. <laughs> what everything looks like we got rid of our mat from last year because it got damaged but i think i'm just gonna leave this one because i really like it it's like neutral so we can pretty much use it like all year that's what we've been using this year looking good everything is all done officially i'm loving the way that it's looking we need to add like a tall lamp right there planning on getting finally some picture frames so i can put right above the couch and then the living room will be like almost pretty much done as far as like decor and then we have the bathroom looking good smelling good too pretty much everything is from last year and we do have to change out those uh outlet covers and then i have to get a new light for up here but once that's done then this bathroom is pretty much complete and then dining room's all done wine cart is complete 
So I wanted to pop in here and just show you guys officially that the dining room table is all complete. We added some candy to our bowl and it actually took away one of the decor pieces that I had on here because I felt like it was a little bit too much. So I just put that downstairs in the basement and I love the way this looks. I think just removing that one extra piece that I had on the end, it looks so much better. So I just wanted to show you guys that officially the dining room is all complete. And then the kitchen is all done as well. Just little pops of orange. We still have things to do to the house. I'll show you guys my list, but the decorations for fall are all done. Here is a list of everything that I want done this year. Lots of things. I actually have to add something here. To the living room, I need to get a lamp as well. Get tall lamp. There we go. But yeah, I had to make a list because if not, I feel like nothing's gonna get done, so. That is our list of things that we plan on getting done to the house. Hopefully by the end of the year, if not the beginning of next year. So we are taking a quick break because we have a sponsor for today's video, which I am so grateful for. So I wanna give a big thank you to Native for working with me on this section of today's vlog. You guys already know, I work with Native all the time and I continue to work with them throughout the years because I love them. And whenever I love a product, I just can't stop using it. I'll use it over and over and over again. And that's usually the case with my sponsored videos. I like to just continue to work with the same brands because you know I genuinely love them. and. Native is one of those products that I've been using for a few years. I always go back to this deodorant. It is my absolute favorite. I have like five different scents that I usually keep in rotation and they're me and Hector's favorite. So everything about the deodorant is great. It's non-sticky, it lasts all day, and there's a lot of different variety as far as scents to choose from. And of course, you guys know the deodorant is aluminum-free, paraben-free, vegan, and cruelty-free. And there's a lot of really good common ingredients in here. So things that we're familiar with, like coconut oil, shea butter, and this is one of my favorite scents, which is the unscented it's just a classic clean deodorant so if you're sensitive or if you just don't want any scents this is a really good one that i love it's one of my all-time favorites this is another really good one for some reason i thought this was just a summery scent but it's not i'm using it now and i really like it because i feel like when i move a little bit i can still smell the deodorant and it smells really light and fresh and clean so this is sweet peach and nectar this is a really nice scent it's not too sweet but it's sweet enough and then the coconut vanilla will forever be a repurchase for us we love this scent it's very again and light, not too sweet. I also love the eucalyptus and mint. So normally three deodorants are $36, but if you guys are interested, you can use my code and you can get three deodorants for $24. So you get 33% off. Using my code, I will link everything down below if you're interested. And if you've been wanting to try out Native, I definitely recommend. They not only have deodorant, but they also have body washes and toothpaste and a couple other products as well. So definitely check them out. They have expanded their horizons as far as products and they have a lot to choose from. And I also wanted to mention that Native does also offer a plastic free version of their deodorant so same exact formula just more sustainable packaging if any of you guys are interested in that as well so thank you to them for working with me on this session of today's vlog and now we can continue on with the rest of the vlog hey guys good morning i just woke up not too long ago already brushed my teeth and popped my trays back in i'm about to do my skincare and then i'm gonna take bernard on a walk feed him all that fun stuff i think it's a beautiful day out today and i'm gonna film it's my cousin's birthday so i'm gonna go pick her up some flowers balloons and we're gonna go see her later me and my mom so kind of a busy day but it's gonna be a good day i'm just doing my normal morning skincare still using like the same exact products I figured i would just also vlog today and continue on because i didn't get a ton of footage yesterday i mean like we decorated but that was pretty much it and then i was working on my video all night made dinner pretty late like later than we usually do and that was it i was up pretty late went to bed and here we are all right he's all situated feeding his little carrot he loves carrots does anybody else love the sound of their dog crunching or eating food? It's so cute. Is it good, Bernard? <laughs> all right, so he's all situated. I got a bunch of dishes to do now. Ugh.
right, so cleaned up the kitchen a little bit, got all those dishes done. They were bothering me. I like woke up thinking about them, but now I gotta clean up this mess because this is from yesterday's video. So I'm gonna clean these products up and get some new products out because I'm gonna film a get ready with me today. So let's get to work. By the way, I did switch out my background. You guys have seen it in my recent videos and I love this new background. I feel like just so much more motivated to film. I know it's like so weird because it's just like a change of background from that to this, but it makes a difference, so I'm excited for future videos. So I just got ready. I did my hair, my press on nails. These are from Kiss. They're like the nude ones. I actually really like this color for fall, it's so pretty. But yeah, I did them really quick. I actually didn't really take my time because my nails are still pretty damaged and I'm trying to like rock the natural nails, but I feel like they're just so ugly, honestly. To be filming with them, they are like little nubs because I like bit my nails off and it's just, it looks so bad. So as much as like I want to keep my natural nails like natural, I at least have to do these because I feel like it's just, it looks bad on videos and I can't look like a complete hot mess in my videos. I mean, on the vlog channel, okay, fine. But on the main channel, I try not to be too much of a hot mess. Try. Speaking of hot mess, you guys, I'm gonna clean out my closet this week because what is this? This is so embarrassing. I normally never let my clothes in my closet get this bad, but I feel like whenever I start getting busy or I start getting caught up with other things, I neglect other things in my life, if that makes sense. You know, it's like, I can never like do everything. But anyways, I'm gonna get started. I'm gonna film a reverse cat eye today. I've never done this kind of makeup look before, but I've seen it going around and I thought it was like such a cute like fall moment. And I have to get ready today anyway, so I figured I could just do that on camera. And then that's pretty much it for today. I'm gonna go pick up some balloons. I should probably actually maybe order those first for my cousin and then pick them up because Party City is usually super busy. So let me actually do that really quick. So if you didn't know, you can actually order balloons on Party City. I don't know about you guys, but like I mentioned, my Party City gets super busy. So if you don't have a lot of time, but you want to get balloons, I recommend just getting them online. You can order them and then you can just get like curbside pickup and then they can just bring them out to you or you can just go in and pick them up, you know, either or, but I love doing this. I did this a few weeks back and I'm going to do it again today. For my cousin, um, she's going to be 19. So I'm just going to get her actually something like this, like the one and the nine and then maybe a couple other cute little balloons to complement them. So yeah, I'm going to order these and then I'm going to get ready and I have to film. So I'm going to get some work done and then I will try picking with you guys in a little bit. I don't really know what we're doing tonight. Maybe we'll just go out to eat or something. Keep it super low key. We're really just going to go to like see her and hang out. I haven't seen her in quite some time actually i think since before i went on my honeymoon because you know i was busy she works and goes to school and stuff so i'm excited to see her later so this is what we're doing for my cousin's birthday going to tj maxx love it Okay, I don't need any purse, but this one is really cute. I love the black and gold. It's 20 bucks. It's really cute. These are also so cute from Steve Madden. $25. I like that one. And then this is like the lighter one. I do need a new wallet though, and I was looking. And this one looks super cute from Marc Jacobs. I love small wallets because then I don't have like that much change and then it won't weigh my bag down. Let's see how much it is. Okay. Yeah, no. I love these little hoops and they're only $10. I think I'm gonna get these, I love these. I also like these, which ones? Hey, yes. Wait, don't get those. The thin ones? These are a little bit too chunky. Okay, TJ Maxx with the jewelry. They have a lot of really cute pieces today. These are really cute too, the little. These are small, Mira. Small, chunky. Oh, I like this too. I'm probably not gonna get the earrings, you guys. I don't need them. I already have jewelry, but they are really cute. Makeup selection today is looking pretty good. They have some similar stuff from Marshalls too. I just did like a Marshall shop with me and a lot of the stuff is similar, but they actually have a lot of makeup today. Cover Girl, Profusion. We have some MAC here, MAC lipsticks, House of Lashes. There's a lot of makeup here today. So I guess they changed the packaging to the Macadamia Deep Repair Mask. I guess the packaging is different, but it's still like the same mask. I guess maybe like they rebranded, but this is my favorite deep conditioner. It is the best. I always talk about it. 
and it is $15 here, but so worth it. You just need a little bit. I can't believe they had Briogeo here. I've never seen hair products from Briogeo. I saw this brand at Marshalls and they had, it was like a moisturizer, but this is like legit hair products, $20. And then they have this little kit here, shampoo and conditioner. And this is, oh wow, $10. Okay, random, but I actually bought this hair oil a few years back and I still have it and I love it. I use it all the time, especially when I have my hair like slicked down. This is what I use to like keep the flyaways down. It's so good and it's pretty cheap. It's only $6. I'm really loving a lot of the artwork that they have here. Like the canvases are super cute, but I'm so indecisive with what I want for the house. And that's why I haven't really decorated because I like too many things. Oh no. Ugh. Okay, there we go. Um, I like too many things, so that's why it's really hard for me to like narrow it down to like exactly what I want. I haven't been like in love with anything enough to like buy it. So this is the organizer that I just got from Marshalls and they have it here and it's my favorite. I have all of my skincare stuff in it. I moved it into the bathroom and I love it. These little compartments are so good for like just random stuff. Like I keep my lip balms and stuff in there, so. Definitely recommend getting this if you need a new way to organize your skincare or just like anything. It's $40. Hey guys, so it is the next day and last night my cousin and I, my mom, we didn't really do much. We got takeout and then we went to TJ Maxx and that was pretty much it. She had work today so we didn't stay too late. But now Hector and I are at Home Depot because we're gonna go pick out a vanity for our second bathroom. The remodeling, I posted on Instagram but it was supposed to start like two weeks ago but a couple of the things that I ordered were back ordered and we had to wait so everything got pushed back but we're finally here getting a couple last minute things and then he can finally start probably hopefully this coming week if not next week on that bathroom so we're gonna pick out a vanity and just a couple little things <laughs> so I want like a bottom like this and it has to be a 36 inch like this one but I don't like this top it has because it doesn't really matter they could change the top they can give us a different one normally they have other Tops, but they don't have a lot of like options here today. So this is the kind of theme that we are going with in our bathroom. It's kind of like washed out on camera, but it's more like beige veins in the tile or whatever that we chose for the tub. So we are thinking one of these vanities, like this one right here, and then we're gonna get a separate top for it to match. So many options. I think we're gonna go with this one right here. It's brush nickel. All right, so we gotta find it. So that one is B58. Oh, is it on sale? Uh, oh, yeah, I think it is. No, actually, no, it's not. Okay, so we're gonna go with this one, and then we have to pick the shower head and a vanity light. And a, yeah, and a mirror, too, but we can maybe get that online. But we gotta get one of these. Oh my god, these are so big. So, my dad says to get like the same brand if we can, but I don't know if that's gonna be possible. This one's cool. So it's like duo. Oh, yeah. That's a magnet. That's See, I like that because then when I'm cleaning the tub, it's easy to like. Right. Because right. that one you can't like remove. No, this ain't pretty long. But it it's is. not. Uh, See, it's not that long. So I guess it won't even make a difference anyway. Now we have to pick lights for the bathroom. So the ones we have now are actually like these, babe. The ones that are lit? Yeah, they're, that's like what we have now in that bathroom. Mm. I didn't even get a good look at it. I know, we, spend that much time we literally that. never go in that bathroom. Okay, so I'm thinking this one here, and it has a brushed nickel finish. This one? Yeah. Sure. Yeah, it's nice. Financial engines. Smells so good. I'm hungry. Okay, so we got some stuff and then the rest we're gonna order online, but we took pictures of everything, so it was a successful trip. So I just ordered everything for the bathroom online. I'm super excited and hopefully we can get started on that soon and get it done. And of course I'll show you guys like the before and after. So got that done today. Next thing that I want to do is clean out my closet, but I'm gonna save this for another video. We can do it together. Let me know how you guys want me to do it. Like I was thinking maybe just kind of going through each of my things in my closet cleaning things out maybe trying things on and show you guys like what I'm keeping what I'm getting rid of but yeah I'm gonna end this vlog here I'm probably gonna go grocery shopping and you know just do some things around the house so I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you very soon in my next vlog bye